Today I'm replacing the driver's door latch on my 2012 Toyota RAV4. Basically, there is a motor inside the door latch that hits lock and unlock. And when I'm doing it with my key or doing it with the lock and lock button, intermittently it's not locking. And with car thefts doubling and pretty much tripling in my neighborhood, including my own truck being stolen a couple months ago, I want to make sure that we can keep our doors locked so we hopefully don't lose another vehicle. Of course it's actually working today, but it's definitely starting to go out. So intermittently, even when I hit lock with this button or with my key, this door doesn't lock. And if we don't remember to do it manually, then we can wake up to find the glove box rifled through and all of our change stolen. So. I got this latch off of Amazon. First thing I want to do is get the door panel off and then match up this part with the old one, make sure I have the right part and go ahead and replace it. In order to pull this door panel off, there's a couple of screws hidden behind these panels. So pop this guy out of the way. There's a Phillips behind there. Then this pull handle piece pops out. Let's see if it'll cooperate since it's cold today. Might need two hands. Tie behind it carefully like so, and then there are Phillips screws in there too. Pay attention to which screw goes where. This one is silver and different from the two that go here. I don't think there's any screws on the bottom. You just have to pop a flat screwdriver behind, pop the plastic clips off. Pop this little cover off too because the door panel lifts up. That way it'll be out of your way. Then you might need a magnet to get these two screws out. Next, take a flathead screwdriver and you can see down here, there's a divot here and a divot here. There's actually little arrows on the door panel showing you where to pry to pop the clips loose so you can get the panel off. behind it and disconnect these two door handle wires. Pay attention to the white ones on top, the green one is on the bottom. They just pop out and lift up. And then we have this switch. Should have a release. This connector has a push release right here. It's kind of hard to see upside down, but unplug that, unplug that. Then we're gonna peel back this plastic covering. The door latch has three torque screws over here holding it in. Those are T30s. Make sure that you have the correct one when you go to remove those screws so that you don't round out the screws and Screw yourself. The connector goes to the door latch and unplug that one too. There's just a push release right here. So there's a lock rod inside. Let's see if you can get. This guy is coming from the outer door handle. When you go to put the new one in, make sure that it goes down through this hole. This window guide is in our way. So if you come out and loosen this 10 millimeter, then you can slide the window guide out of the way so that we can remove the door latch. This 
rod that needs to go in the, the new All latch. Alright, so here's my old latch, here's my new latch. It looks like they match up. We want to make sure we swap everything over. The new latch doesn't have this grommet in here where that lock rod goes down, so I need to swap that over to the new one. Just squeeze these outer tabs together, pop it into place. I'm going to flip it over and swap these two cables over. Paying attention where each one goes. There's a little door here for the upper blue one. These guys just pop out. Click into place. This one has a little kind of hook on it. this one down into place we'll get right, this door like so we have everything swapped over so we're ready to put the new latch in coming out the same hole we did but these guys the wires need to go in so they're in the right position and then we can get this guy up in place make sure we get that rod in that little also hole this hole on the back has a rod this piece right here needs to go through that hole so it's kind of a puzzle you're putting together it's going to take two hands it in place. I've got one of the screws started so that it doesn't drop. You might be able to help yourself out by putting the key over here so that you can feel when that rod goes through the latch where it's supposed to. Then before I tighten any of the other screws down, I'm going to make sure that I can get a view of it. There you guys. See? So we can tighten the three screws on the side and then we'll put the window guide back in place. Make sure this will lock and unlock smoothly. And we want to make sure that the window guide is around the glass. Alright, so slide this metal. You see the piece I'm grabbing down here? that up into place. It's kind of hard to see. So I'm sliding it up. Make sure there's a little metal tongue that goes behind. Slide that into place, then come over to the front. There we go. Line this up and reinstall that 10 millimeter bolt. Pull in the connector to your latch. You want to snake these cables through this hole. Put your plastic back up in place. And then I like to check and make sure that the door latch works before I put the door panel back on. Do a little test. Make sure this key works. We can put the door panel back on. Hook these guys up where they go. Put it all back together. Okay, to put the door panel back on, I'm gonna plug in the window switch. Make sure it clicks back into place and won't come loose. Then we put these cables back on, remembering that the green one was on the bottom. Like so. Put this guy over the lip. And you just kind of bang the clips back in so everything is popped on. 
going to, before I screw everything in, make sure the inner door handle works. Lock, unlock. Looks like we're good. Once you have all the screws back in, you can pop your little covers back into place. You also want to turn your key on, make sure the window goes down smoothly in the guide. And, well, it's unlocking because the key's in, but everything is working as designed and you should be good to go.